But today I'm gonna to teach you how to tape in a ceiling. Tape in a drywall ceiling. We've got a small little room here, two joints, nice and easy. So we've got to mix up mud and I'm gonna show you what tools you need, how thick your mud has to be and everything like that. And then we're gonna move on to probably another video, but I'll give you a sneak peek. If you've got a lot of meters, how to use a tool like this and get done very quick. You can do everything from the ground. First, I'm gonna just teach you how to tape in by hand. All you need is a, a blade, a hawk, and we're gonna use fiber fuse. It's actually really good if you're just starting out. This stuff is really strong, it won't bubble. It lays nice and flat as well. You can also use paper tape. I like to use paper tape in here. I've never tried the fiber fuse through these machines. I'm pretty sure you can, but it just feels like it can rip really easy and I don't wanna struggle. So we're gonna be saving that later. Okay, so first step, you wanna mix up some mud, get yourself a smaller blade. Okay, add some water in the bucket. All right, we're only gonna be taping this ceiling in. So we only got a couple of inches. Okay, put the bag between your legs and you can just shake it like that and stir it. Try not to, try not to breathe it in as well. Probably should use a mask. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take this ceiling in right now and then I'm gonna use the rest just to pre-fill. And then we're gonna use the auto taper. What I've noticed with some compounds, this is what you call a chemically setting compound in a powdered form. Okay, when it gets mixed with water, then it starts to go off. That's how it works. But I find the cheap stuff, you end up using more, more product. That's what I found. And the good stuff, yeah, you pay more, but you need less with the same amount of water. So that's what I found. I think that'll do. Give it a good mix. After a few attempts, you kind of can gauge how much you need. All right, when you're taping in by hand, that's good. Okay. Okay, we've got our mix all ready. Now, when you're running it through a machine, it's a lot more running. And then that's why they use pans as well. Because if you use the runny mix on a hawk, it would just slide right off. Okay, we're on our first joint. Now I actually like to, my first swipes are sideways because I like to try and push the compound in there. Why I like using a hawk as well, you can go like that and if any drops off, you can kind of catch it. Like it needs a screw. Okay, once you've got it all butted up like that, get your tape. Now you want to find the middle of the join there, which is here. Go like that. Firmly, but not too hard. You can see the middle of the joint there. Finding the middle of the joint. Okay, and then once that's done, I like to just go over it and fill the recess up a little bit. Okay. 
And then I also like to get a, a bigger blade. And go like that. We have a 55 mil cornice going up here. You can see that line there. We have a cornice going straight back on. So 55 millimeters back here, it's about here. As long as everything that way is finished nicely, then we're happy. Okay, so once again, fill that recess up. If you didn't know the, the joins of the plasterboard, they have a little recessed edge, just enough for you to put tape in and put a couple of coats on and then for it to lay flat. Okay, that's good. So now you saw how to do it. I'm gonna do this one nice and quick. So I was gonna say, I thought you said is you're gonna do it quick. Doesn't have to be pretty. You just need mud behind the tape, especially if you're using paper tape. You can't see any sheet. You can't even be like that. You try to tape over that with paper tape, it'll bubble. You have to cut it out and do it again. There we go. That's how you tape a ceiling in. That's how you tape in drywall joints. Okay, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek right now of this taper machine, and then I suggest you watch the full video if you wanna check that out. And um, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next video.